instant it took a car to hit her as she walked across the street. Life as she knew it ended for Melissa Hernandez. Because her injury was very high on her spinal cord, she has lost the ability to use her diaphragm. So a ventilator forces air in and out of her lungs. I have to wait for the vent to give me a breath. Sarah DeVosto was injured when a large piece of machinery fell on top of her. She also is tethered to a ventilator for every breath. To have air come in through my mouth and nose would be something you wouldn't imagine missing. The ventilator can lead to infection and it limits the ability to speak, eat, smell and taste. But these women can't live without it. But today at Craig Hospital, both women will be the first in Colorado to undergo a new procedure. A team of national and local doctors gathered at Swedish Medical Center. In the operating room, they implanted electrodes to stimulate Sarah's diaphragmatic muscle. It's a little like a pacemaker, only this device creates strong contractions of the diaphragm like you would have if you are breathing normally. Just just take her off the when Sarah returns to her room, a large crowd gathers to watch as she is disconnected from the ventilator. For the first time since her accident, Sarah can breathe through her mouth and nose. Okay, so here we go. And minutes after she returns to the room, doctors turn off Melissa's ventilator and turn on her diaphragm. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Can you smell that? Oh, that's right. I'm amazing, says Melissa. A week, both women have been weaned from their ventilators. Melissa's voice is still getting stronger. I'm so happy. And Sarah finds that losing the ventilator with its many tubes has, oddly enough, brought her closer to the world around. I guess I feel more connected. When we left them, breathing freely, they were planning to go shopping together to buy something they now can smell, perfume.